Good morning, everyone. The, I'm Anand Kanika. I'm working as a Hadoop developer. Here's a small demo on Hadoop lifecycle using user interface, which is I've uh, developed user interface in Swing. Okay, I'm running Hadoop version two. First thing is like uh, you have to in initialize all your Hadoop cluster and make sure you have running all uh, demons or no I have designed one panel for that purpose before going to uh, like uh, why we need user interface like if you are well no if you are good in linux then you can do all these things in command line also but many people not aware or not good in our linux system or you can say in command line that's why we have come up with the solution uh, basically i have used uh, java swing to design user interface which will connect to your Hadoop ecosystem using commands internally okay so first I will check all running JPS means which all uh, Java processes are running see so name node we have resource manager the main screen is like Swift then the Eclipse data node node manager. Okay, before begin the any project, you must initialize your cluster at least once. So I will click on initialize cluster. So until wait for until button comes to its original face. Here is come the output. Okay, check the output. Yeah, see, this is your name node has been successfully formatted. Now, check the daemons. Okay, so it's running. I will say stop daemons, which will stop all the daemons. will take little bit time to stop all the demons yeah here we are all stopping name node stopping data node and all again we'll start the all demons Basically, I've divided th this uh, demo in four parts. Part first thing is you are uh, initialize initialize cluster. Then second part is HDFS file system system. Third part is uh, running job and last one is like present the output okay. uh, yeah see all demons are started now name node we have data node we just click with JPS name node, node manager, then resource manager, data node manager, second is uh, Hadoop have its own user interface you just say and this is the output yeah see 
these are the summary you can say summary or live nodes like data node how many data nodes you running so we done with first part like uh, if you how to initialize it just user interface you have to say first user initialize cluster then you have to start or restart your daemon okay now come to the second part that is uh sdfs file system for this operation i made simple thing like ls directory just enter your directory path here make directory remove directory and move your uh, local data into a hard system okay before doing any operation please make sure all demons are running so i just put the jps on there okay so we will we'll say just ls on root directory nothing in in the root directory we have just formatted our root directory so i will create one directory saying user make directory now check the root directory yeah see so you create just created the uh, user directory now uh, we will we'll move our data like uh, sample data that is election data to our sdfs so i uh, have in yeah in document directory so this is data election data if you want i will open it for you send it on text yeah see so this is data basically it is like election id then pin code number name address uh, the male or female the religion and the voted party it means this person i voted for bjp okay so we'll move this file to a sdfs Just enter election data dot txt and the means where you want to store is user directory, right? The same data to SDFS. It's done. Now we listen user directory. Yeah, we have successfully moved our data to SDFS. Okay, now comes to the third part that is uh, run the Hadoop job on your data to analyze uh, your data. Here I have written one uh, char or you can say code in Java to analyze the overall result means it will give the uh, final result who on the election so i have created one char here overall result dot char okay so we'll run this spin okay so first we'll say sorry it's not that soon We first will check all demons are running yes so we'll give the path of jar file this is uh, over overall result result dot txt then the enter input path will be 
you have user election data dot txt and then we'll say user output say output yeah let's say it and say run yep uh, it is not valid char oh, okay sorry it should be char file right so it is running Oh, user documents over all result okay sorry a is capital here oh, so now it is running oh, meanwhile will it will take time so meanwhile we'll take we'll check all the possible logs so these are the logs we have then it will give file system Hadoop has an option I say go see user directory election data now our job is running so we can check the status in node edge so it will give all status of the Hadoop jobs in all applications now yeah see applications we have see, this is a running one only fine progress because our job is still running right so you can check the status here of your job this is running yeah see you can check your job is finished successfully then see here you can check all the you can see counters reducer job how many counters are used and all okay to check whether it is a proper directory or no we'll say ls on user data yeah see user output right or you can see just user output then user output success right yeah now the last part is uh, how to show the result now there are many ways where you can show the uh, final output i just use my php graphs i have developed uh, php libraries to uh, with the help of javascript to show the final output Say this present the output, run this one. Okay, so into the output, so we have user, then the output directory, it's a go. Okay, so data is saved. Let's copy URL. So we'll 
copy the ur this url to see the final output so we have three options here one is can show the output using bar graph here column graph and pie charts so these are the bar graph okay so won the election digit and see 41000 into 41000 189 votes and congress got 27500 votes and now jdu these are the multiple options we have column graph Then you can divide uh, this application in just four simple screens. So we have first we have first screen which will initialize your cluster and where you can start or stop your daemon as well as your cluster. Okay. In second screen you can do operation related to Hadoop file system like ls command make directory remove directory and copy the data right in third screen you can run your Hadoop job right and at the end uh, if you want to present your final output in graphic presentation then you can use this script. so uh, just brief which all technology has used to these to do all this stuff like first thing is like i have used hadoop right. second thing i used is uh, eclipse along with the swift swift then we have used PHP, or you can say shell scripting, shell scripting, okay. then to present your output, we are use PHP and JavaScript. These are the technologies we have used. First one is Hadoop, Eclipse. Sorry, it's not Swift. It's uh, Swing. Swing, right? And shell scripting to interact your uh, like Swift application to Hadoop cluster. We uh, use shell scripting and to present your final output to use php and javascript okay we'll end this demo here thank you